Hi, I'm Alessandro. As you open Artemy, you'll find yourself in this screen, with a glowing green button that is pretty much begging to be clicked. So, let's click it! Yeah, we got the dogs! But why? Let's check the panels on the left. By clicking on the panel's name, you can expand them. Inside the prompt panel, you can describe what kind of pictures you want to generate. But before adding something new, let's start by double-clicking on the first tag and let's turn a dog into a cat. And let's see what we get. Okay, this works. If I write Victorian painting in the prompt, it creates a new tag for me and by increasing its value, I can increase or decrease its importance. Nice! If you need even more control over your pictures, you can add custom modifiers inside your Artemy folder in Documents. Uh, more on that next time. You can delete undesirable tags with Backspace, Cancel or just right-clicking on them. Accuracy is a little bit tricky, because accuracy controls how much specific and crisp your resulting pictures will be. A higher accuracy often brings to crispier and messier results than a lower one. With these two buttons below, you can save or load your prompt. The negative panel is pretty much the same thing, but it's for those things you don't want to see in your pictures. Okay, I played a little bit with the prompt and I made some pictures, but uh, I'd like to have a little bit more control over them. Let's check the image panel. Here I can load a picture, like this masterpiece, which will be used as reference for my next generations. Here I can obviously change or delete that picture, tweak how strong it will be as reference, how many pictures to generate in the same batch, their desired resolution, and the quality of the output. Of course, a higher quality brings to a longer loading time. Ok, let's check the last two panels. If you have more than one model installed, you can choose what model to use inside your batch setting panel. A model is pretty much an AI trained on a specific subject or style. The seed is pretty much the DNA of a picture. Same settings and seed bring to the same picture. On default it's random. And at last, there's the upscale panel, which can help you to increase the size of your pictures. Very well, since I'm a nerd, I have no other choice to make character portraits for my D&D campaign. If I hover my mouse on a picture, I can give it a rating, which will make it appear inside the gallery. I can download it, delete it, or I can evolve it. This is a dedicated evolution area, which is separated from the linear flow of generations where I was a few seconds ago. That was the brainstorm area. In this area you can move around freely, but you need to select a picture in order to generate. When you click over a picture, it's automatically set as reference inside the image panel. And now the fun starts! You can make his hair black or blonde, you can make him a her! Maybe I got a little bit too excited there. The only new button is the copy setting button on top of the download button. Thanks to this button, you have access to all previous settings from previous generations. 
Now, if you want to leave this area, in the bottom right corner there are two buttons. The round one is your quick travel between the brainstorm area and the last evolution area you've visited. The button called Areas will open an overview where you can choose between all the areas you've created. Last but not least, by clicking on Artemis logo in the header bar, you can open up a menu. Here you can start a new project, save or load a previous project, or check the settings. In the settings you can change the file format of your pictures, or customize Artemis performance based on your machine. And that's all! Have fun with Artemis, and remember to share your finest or ugliest pictures with us in our Reddit and Discord. Link in description. Bye!